Hey guys, this is Pastor Grant. I'm smiling because this is now take four uh, of this encouragement, uh, but I'm going to get through this, as awkward as it may feel to me to speak to a camera. Um, just before, uh, before I offer a word of encouragement, I want to let you guys know that starting on Monday, I'm going to open a Zoom room uh, at, the, at the church, but wherever you are, at noon. Uh, it'll start with just a short Bible reading, and then we'll just pray. Half an hour in the middle of your day. It's a good stop point. I want to invite you to be a part of that. Uh, if it's just one, me and one other person, that's fine. If it's just me praying by myself, that's cool too. Uh, but I want to let you know about that. Now, um, the encouragement today comes from Habakkuk. I've been really encouraged by the uh, minor prophets. I've actually altered my reading plan and have been reading through Jeremiah um, and uh, going back to that time in Israel's history. And it's been a really sweet time uh, reading through the Minor Prophets. Um, but uh, last night in our online connection, we had looked at Habakkuk 1.5. It says, Look among the nations and see, wonder and be astounded, for I am doing a work in your days that you would not believe if told. Uh, that was the verse that I opened with on our first, um, on our first meeting, uh, our first online service. But can you believe what's happening? Look among the nations. This is a global pandemic. Every nation on earth has a common enemy, and we're joining together to fight against this enemy that threatens our very lives. Um, it's an existential threat. It's a pandemic. This, nothing like this has happened in any of our lifetimes. Um, I could go on about that, but it's a global thing. Wonder and be astounded. Take a couple minutes today. Sit down with a pen and paper. W take some time to wonder and be astounded. Not panic. We've been doing a lot of wondering and astoundment, but he says, for I am doing a work in your days that you would not believe if told. I believe that God is at work. Who else could do this, would do this, but God? And not to blame God for evil. God has a plan. And I encourage you to look at the book of Habakkuk today um, or in the next couple days and look at what God is doing, how he uses the Assyrians that, what does he call it, vile and hasty people, something like that, uh, to accomplish his purposes of bringing his own people to repentance. Let's not let that go by. Let's not let this moment go by without seeing COVID-19 is an evil. But it's as if God has sent us all to our rooms. He's grounded us to think about what we've been up to and how we've been um, seeing him and relating to him. Our idols are being laid bare. And I think it would be a mistake for us to not let that, uh, and not let that moment go by. At the end of the book, though, he says, though the fig tree should not blossom, nor fruit be on the vines, the produce of the olive fail, and the fields yield no fruit, yet I will rejoice in the Lord, yet I will rejoice. This is the encouragement. Though the worst thing might happen, and I encourage you to think today, what if, this is my question, what if the worst did happen? Could I still say I rejoice, not just I trust, I rejoice in the Lord. I take joy in God who is, who is behind this who's working this for his glory and for our good. That's my encouragement for you today. It's maybe a little bit uh, sobering, but these are also sobering times. Things I believe are gonna get pretty bad. They already are for those doctors, including um, Ryan Lawrence, who's in New York City, and uh, our nurses here in our church who are already vamping things up for the expected influx of uh, COVID-19 cases. Um, but may we rejoice. May we be able to rejoice. What would that look like? And how would, how would our faith 
sustain us through that? Do we have the faith that would sustain us through that? As you think about those things, I'm sitting here in my office all day. Pastor Ken's sitting in his office. Pastor Stevens been isolating at home. If you have questions or want to talk about it, give us a call. That's, that's what our jobs are these days, is talking to people, making phone calls, checking in on people. Um, if you wonder how, that is, how to have that kind of faith, give us a call. Let's talk. Let's pray together. All right, guys. Grace and peace. I made it through this entire, this entire uh, try without stopping, so I'm not going to redo now. Have a good day.